We spent through 1 million coins to make the best team we possibly could. And then a couple days later, we upped it to 10 million coins to make the best team we could. And now that we have both teams set up and ready to go, we're going to be putting the 1 million coin squad against the 10 million coin squad to see which one comes out on top. So we're starting with quarter one over here. Make sure you comment down below which one of the two teams do you think is going to win. I'm simply going to be playing through for both teams and we're going to start off playing through with the starting fives and then we're going to switch over and change the teams up so we're playing with the bench because I did make a little bit of thought when it comes to picking the bench players so that then I could use them as they do complete the team as it were. So we're going to switch things up and use the bench players or the second quarters for both sides. But we're three, three at the moment. Ray Allen's going to shoot the two points he's going to miss that one over there so we've got the ball now with Gordon let's find Isaiah Thomas the ball's going to get stolen off us there by Allen but it's going to be interesting to see I have been playing league versus league with this 1 million coin squad on my second account and then I've also been playing of course with my main lineup on my main account but let's play Donovan Mitchell over here we're going with a three-pointer he's got a decent three on him and he's going to finish that one off he's got a 95 three-point shot my aim is to maybe shoot with him Isaiah Thomas and then maybe go into the paint with Jared Allen and of course Tim Duncan because he has got some nice dunk package dunks but we're actually up by three in this quarter we almost get a the steal there but it is going to be hard to get some steals off Allen Iverson speaking of that though we do actually get the ball there and Jarrett Allen is going to come through and finish off a really nice dunk he's got 96 dunking and I do think we have made some pretty good decisions with the cards that we picked up for only 1 million coins because yes the cards of course on the 10 million coin squad are a lot better Allen Iverson there with a 105 three-point shot but these cards aren't even that bad and they're only for a million coins in total which does make for a pretty good price isaiah thomas knocking down a really challenged three-point shot over there which is really helping us up we're up by five points we've got to get as far ahead as possible we almost get the steal again with Isaiah Thomas over there. He's been playing pretty well and he's a pretty good card. We get the block there with Jarrett Allen. Let's run it up the court. Play Isaiah Thomas. He's got some a little bit of space, but he's going to get stopped by Hakeem over there. And that is going to go out of bounds probably. Yep, that is out of bounds over there, which is a little bit unfortunate. But Isaiah Thomas again picking up the steal. Let's play Donovan Mitchell. We'll try and shoot a three-pointer this time. Perfect release for three. And he's going to knock that one down. We're doing really, really well with this team over here in the first quarter. It's going to be tough to come back with the other team, but I do think it's going to be possible with that 10 million coin squad Allen over there gonna finish off that dunk he's got a 102 dunking but stats don't mean everything in this game that was a very poor pass on my part I shouldn't have done that but we're up by six points now with this team we've got five seconds left on the clock hopefully we can stop them from scoring an extra bucket at the end of this quarter they're gonna pass it out to Hakeem for three and he's gonna brick that one and that is gonna be at the first quarter has finished and we're up by six points, which is really, really good for this 1 million coin squad. And I'm going to hop on over to the 10 million coin squad and see what they can do. We need to make a bit of a comeback in this game over here. Isaiah Thomas is going to miss that. Tim Duncan's going to get the rebound, but at least we challenged him, but they're still going to make the shot. So we got to shoot some threes with this Iverson over here. And of course, Ray Allen as well, because they've got some very nice three point stats on them. Iverson over there knocking down that three point shot, which is really nice, but we got to keep the pressure on the 1 million coin squad if we want a chance of winning this game over here. I know a lot of you guys may be asking how I'm actually doing this at the moment, like how I'm playing against the two teams, but I've basically got my account over here, my main one, and then I've also got my alternate account, both in the same league, and then I can go ahead and play the other one as it were, and to keep switching between the two accounts. Obviously, I want to try and get that second account up a little bit more in overall, so I can then try and go ahead and make a second league for all of you guys to join. They're going to keep passing the ball around. Tim Duncan's in the post position, and he's going to make that shot. I don't know what we're doing wrong over here. They keep making all of these baskets. We're just going to get a quick basket in with that Hayward over there. So we're up to 13 points now, but we are still losing the game by seven points, which is a little bit annoying, but I'm hoping the bench might be able to save us a little bit in the second half of this game. Mitchell's going to go in. He's going to play it to Gordon. He's going to play it back out to Isaiah Thomas. All this ball movement that's giving them the open looks, but they do miss that shot over there. Let's play Allen on the left-hand side for three. Perfect release. And he's going to sink that one over there. Come on, we really need to get up to the same level as this other team over here but it shows stats aren't everything in this game it is also how these players play they're going to shoot the two and they're going to miss it Isaiah Thomas we can't let them be getting the rebounds like that we should be getting those rebounds Iverson over here let's try and go in for another three pointer poor release on my part and he's going to miss that one that's probably on me with my poor release but he should have made that one over there they're going to dribble it around Donovan Mitchell and he's going to miss the layup but at least we get the rebound over there let's try and play it over to Ray Allen over here for the three and he's going to splash that one over there. So now three point lead for the 1 million coin squad. They got nine seconds left on the clock. What can we do over here? They're going to dribble it around a bit. Play Isaiah Thomas. Just going to let the clock run down over there. They're going to shoot the three. Luckily, we get the block though with the Ray Allen to make sure they don't score that three pointer. So the 10 million coin squad 
is down by three. We won that quarter 11 to eight, but it's not matching what we did with the other team. Now I'm going to switch up the team. So we're basically going to be playing with the bench. So this is what the 10 million coin squad is now looking like. And this is what the 1 million coin squad is now looking like. So I think it might be a little bit more tricky for this 1 million coin squad because I think I did overspend a bit on the starters compared to these bench players. So it is going to make a bit of a difference. But Jason Kidd is going to knock down that three point shot off to start us off on the 10 million coin squad all i did was basically buy all of the players from that conference semi-finals promo because those had the boost so it's going to see whether those stats are going to hold up against us over here chris paul though has still got a 110 layup that is absolutely ridiculous let's try and find blake griffin over here and go in for an easy bucket if we can he's going to miss that but at least he's picking up the rebound he's missing it again he's picking up the rebound again and he's just going to miss that one over there unfortunately i thought that was going to go in but this is where the 10 million coin squad might actually shine over here after that disappointing first quarter. They're going to get the rebound with Bam Adebayo and they're going to finish that shot off over there. Pippin didn't have enough in him to get the block. But again, Bam Adebayo's layups are 108, which is really, really good. Blake Griffin over here. Can he make this shot? It is a little bit challenged. Is it going to go in? He's just going to make that shot over there, which is pretty good. We're still up by four points, which is a decent lead. We need to try and get that as much as we can go before the quarter ends. We get a crazy block there. I think that was really Gobert getting the block. Okay, let's find Gobert over here. We want to be going in for those easy buckets. Mid-range shot, and he's going to miss that one over there. Said easy buckets, and that was a pretty tough one on my end. I'm trying to go in for the easy layups and dunks and all of that stuff because I do think we've got the highest chance of maybe getting them in. Chris Paul is going to shoot the three. He's going to miss that one, luckily. Let's try and find Gervin over here. We'll try and play Gobert. He's got a bit of space, but he's going to get challenged by Jalen Brown. Can he still finish this shot off? Is it going to go in? He's just going to miss that one over there. I thought that got, went in for a second. We're going to get stopped again, which is a bit unfortunate by George Gervin. He's going to miss that one. So it's a two-point lead for us over here. We just need to maybe get one more basket in, and that will make it a little bit harder for the other team to make a little bit of a comeback. Can we get the steal off Chris Paul? We do. Jason Kidd's going to run it up the court. Let's try and get this dunk in. He's going to finish that one-handed slam off very nicely, even though he's only got a 70 dunking. But we're still up by four points. they got probably one more shot left to see what they can do. Chris Paul's going to dribble the ball around. Jason Kidd is just going to miss it. They're going to play magic and he's going to brick the three, but they get the rebound with Bam and we've got nothing left to give. We're up by two points, so we've got five seconds left on the clock. Let's shoot a three with just Jason Kidd. It's a two pointer and he's going to splash that one. So now it's a four point lead for this one million coins squad. Jalen Brown is going to miss that three pointer at the end of it. So we're up by four points on the 1 million coin squad. What can the 10 million coin squad do to answer back? It all comes down to this. What can the 10 million coin squad do to answer back? Chris Paul, we're gonna start off with a three pointer. It's a two pointer and he's gonna brick that one over there. I thought that was gonna go in. He's got 100 mid range shot, but he's still missing that shot over there, which is really unfortunate. We need to play some good defense against Jason Kidd and the rest of these guys over here. They're gonna sort of dribble around a bit. Magic Johnson, brings the double team and we're going to lose the ball over there and it's just going to go out of bounds over there so they're going to regain possession can we get the ball off them though and maybe get a quick basket they got 9.7 seconds left on their shot clock they're going to shoot the post shot and go bears going to miss it we get the rebound there with brown let's try and find chris paul over here try and go in for a layup if we can it's a dunk and he's going to finish that one off over there he's got 89 dunking which isn't as good compared to his layup stat but it is still doing the job for us and getting that easy bucket we double team jason kidd over here he's found a bit of space go bears setting the screen what are they going to do they're going to go in for the layup we've got nothing to block them with and they do finish that one off over there so it's still a four point lead for them chris paul we're going to have to knock down at least one three this quarter pull for three he's going to finish that one so it's a one point lead for them paul's got his three points set up to 101 which is really going to help us hopefully chris paul can he get the steal off jason kidd they're going to play it around to Gervin over here. Magic Johnson's trying to get that still. They're going to play it out to Kidd over here. He's going to play it to Griffin for the post shot. We get the block there with Jalen Brown. Chris Paul's going to pick up the ball. Let's try and find Bam Adebayo here. And he's going to finish that one off. He's got 108 dunking, which is really, really good. All of those boosts playing off over here. Another 10 million coin squad have finally taken the lead. Jason Kidd for two. He's going to miss that one. And we get the rebound with Bam Adebayo. Let's dish it out to this Chris Paul card over here for three. He's going to get blocked by Blake Griffin, but he holds on to the ball for three. Again, he's going to sink that one over here. This is where the 10 million coin squad is making that difference shown between the two. They're going to splash the three with Jason Kidd, which puts them one point behind us. But let's dish it out all the way over to Bam Adebayo for the one-handed slam. And he's going to finish that one off. We've got a three-point lead 
We've got 26 seconds left on the clock. I think this is going to be enough for the win for the 10 million coin squad. But this has been a very, very close game. Chris Paul, can he get the steal? They're going to shoot the ball. We get the block there, but they're going to keep the ball over here. What are they going to do? Chris Paul getting the steal. Let's find Draymond Green on the right hand side. Go in for the dunk and he's going to finish that one off. We're up to five point lead for the 10 million coin squad. They've got a couple of seconds left on the clock. Blake Griffin is going to shoot the two. He's going to miss it. Go bear with the rebound. He's going to miss his shot. And Bam Adebayo is going to heave it all the way from full court and is going to miss that shot over there. So that was a really, really tense final quarter. But the 10 million coin squad did just have enough to get the win over here. That was closer than I thought it would going to be. Did you get it right? Was your prediction correct in your thinking? I'm guessing it probably would do. Not many people would bet against the 10 million coin squad when you're thinking about it and also a 1 million coin squad. But the 10 million coin squad did come out on top. Probably not a surprise, but it was a surprise in how close it actually was. I think the 1 million coin squad did put up a good fight, but it was a really, really intense game. And if you want to go check out how we made these two teams, I'll put both of the videos in the bottom left and the bottom right hand corner. So take your pick, pick one of those ones and go check out either of them. And I'll see you guys in those ones. Peace.